Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial of Xamarin Forms. So today we're gonna show you how to make a local notification Xamarin Forms. So before that, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell um, for more videos. So I have already created the project here. Let's move to uh, the Android project and create a new folder called services. So in which we need to uh, create a new class called um, notifications service. So here we're gonna define in this uh, local notification service um, how to create a channel notification and uh, how to show the notification in Android uh, uh, application. So, first of all, we need to define some constants here like the channel ID, the channel name, and uh, the channel description. So, before the uh, 26, I think, level of API level 26, we don't have um, the concept of a notification channel. Um, we have only notification. That's why we're going to see how to uh, manage that uh, creation uh, of channel. So we need also a notification ID type of int. Each time we send a notification to the application, we increment this notification ID. And um, we need also uh, the title key and the message key here to be constant also. And finally, we have to define a Boolean um, called is channel initializing here, so uh, equal to false by default. So now we're going to create um, a new method called create notification channel in which we have to check if um, the build version of SDK is um, um, less than uh, the 20, 26 API level. So in this case, the API, uh, the SDK don't support um, the notification channel. So we're gonna make return. Else, we're gonna make um, a notification channel. So we need a new variable called channel. It will be equal to a new notification channel that takes in parameters constructor, the channel ID, the name, and um, the importance of this uh, notification by default, it's default. And don't forget also the description. After that, we have to define a notification manager. So we're going to add a new using called Android app. It will be equal to android.app.application. And this manager, it will be equal to um, the context dot get system service type of um, and this uh, system service takes um, Android app dot uh, notification service. After that, we're gonna create the channel here. So we're gonna use notification manager dot create notification channel and this takes um, the channel. After that, we have to define uh, another um, method called um, show notification. Takes uh, like a parameters uh, the title, the message, type of strings, and I dictionary uh, with a key and value type of string called data. We're gonna see in the next video uh, the importance of this data uh, to use a push notification uh, from uh, Firebase, for example. So we have to define uh, a new intent. So when the user uh, tap on the notification, we're gonna open an activity. So here our intent will take type of main activity. And in other video, the next video, we're gonna see how to manage um, this uh, click event on the notification and how to open uh, a specific page, for example, to show another specific things. So here we have uh, configured our um, intent and we need to um, create a pending intent. So here the pending intent will be equal to get activity and text the context notification ID, the intent and 
type of this uh, pending intent will be one shot. And finally, we're going to build this notification. So we're going to use notification compat dot build and this take the content this takes the context the channel id and here we're gonna set up uh, the different configuration of our um, notification like um, the the icon to show when we receive um, the notification so we have to add um, our uh, uh, image in the resource and especially in the min map um, folders so here for example we're gonna take the default icon here and after that um, we're gonna set the small icon so it will be resource dot mean map dot icon and set the title and the message it will be the title from uh, the parameters and the message from the parameters so after that, we need to set the auto cancel to true and set the content intent to the pending intent and set the default like um, the sound and the vibration here to a notification default dot sound or a notification um, dot uh, vibrate. And I think we need one pipe here. Oh, cool. Here. Um, we have done, I think. We need only to build this notification, so we need the um, notification manager um, uh, compad dot from the Android app context, and after that, we call the notification manager to notify um, the application and this takes the notification ID and the notification uh, builder dot build and that's cool let's delete the necessary using and gonna need to define an interface here let's call the i local notification service and this interface will be defined in uh, the Xamarin the shaded project and the Xamarin forms here so we're gonna create a new folder called interface in which we're gonna define this interface so let's make it public and define our method signature called the show notification here great no let's move to um the view model here and uh, let's begin by creating um, the pro uh, the service here of uh, local notification service it will be read only type of uh, our interface and let's change the title here for notification and to call this service from uh, android project we need to use dependency uh, service from Xamarin dot uh, forms and uh, get type of i local notification service and uh, affect it to our local notification service read only property. We need also a command here so that will be binded to uh, it will be bind to um, our button. Let's go to notification command and it will be um, equal to a new delegate command and we need to define a private uh, method called show notification cool so um, in this uh, method we need to do call the local notification service dot show um, notification and here we're gonna give it um, the title the message and let's put uh, new uh, for the data and remove a necessary XAML and finally let's move to um, the main page dot XAML uh, code and we need to define a button that will be um, binded to uh, show notification command and let's import the using here and run the application so when i tap on the button we have a nice exception here so i think we need to um, i forgot to define um, the local notification service to um, 
a real service in uh, Android project, we need to call dependency type of namespace and the name of your service. Cool. And here we have another exception. So we need to define um, an empty dictionary type of string for the key and string for the value. It's empty at the moment. And let's run. So here we have our application. When I tap on the button, we have our nice notification. Cool, that's worked correctly. And when I tap on the notification, let's open the application, the main activity. So let's try it again. I think we need to We have the notification, close the app, and here we go. When I click on, let's open the application. Thank you very much, and see you next tutorial.